our whole lives and thousands of years these things have been enclosed and we got to open them and see what's really in here. Oh, oh wow! That's a big one. It's Brittany and Rebecca. We are really excited for this episode today because we have another geode cracking episode. Yeah, these are Keokuk geodes that came from near Keokuk in Iowa, particularly in the Warsaw Formation. So this area is often referred to as a geode wonderland. If you're looking at a map of the United States, in the intersection of southeastern Iowa and Missouri and Illinois, there's a little bend in the Mississippi River and there is where the Warsaw Formation is. It's about 60 miles in radius in all directions, and there are all sorts of geodes there, from small to massive ones like this. We're hoping for some really cool stuff that can be in there. One of the most common things you can find in these geodes is quartz, but there are so many like other different types of minerals and inclusions that can be found in these geodes. Pyrite is a really, really cool one, so you can see the metallic like, cluster coming off. There's barite, sphalerite. Unfortunately, we personally can't cut these very <laughs> large geodes. Our friend Mick has a 24-inch saw, and he is going to be able to hopefully get this bad boy with that. We're also gonna try one with a hammer and chisel, so we'll see how that turns out. We are gonna take you every step of this journey. You never know what's inside. It's like nature's Easter egg. These are always really fun to do. We're here with Mick from ETSU, and we brought him some geodes. Mick, tell us what we got here. Okay, this is a 24-inch diamond blade rock saw. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the geode in the vise. This is on a mobile carriage. And the trick with this is the carriage is driven by the saw itself and will be pushed past this diamond blade. And it'll grind through the rock for us and cut the geode in half. I noticed the lids, you got two big lids on these saws. Is that because of the, the kind of coolant is used? Yeah, we use a kerosene-based oil coolant, which means it, it, the blade won't burn up when we're trying to cut through the geodes. It makes a huge cloud when this thing starts running, and so we need to have the lid down, otherwise life would get interesting in here. Cool, I'm excited. It'll cut about uh, an inch every eight minutes. Whoa! <laughs> it's a little steamy. Wow. That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Many little terminations. Just that's beautiful. Whoa, that's like a maze in there. Yeah. They're a little covered in kerosene right now. I can smell it. So we're going to take it on over, wash it up. We've got three I would classify as pretty big geodes pretty big. here. I cannot wait to dive into these. Absolutely. Well, do you want to do it? You want to pick yes. one? Yes. First of all, such clean Ooh, cut. Very clean. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. Look at that. It's a bunch of, oh. <laughs> now, I think you may have noticed a smell there. I got a big whip of it. <laughs> it smells very industrial. The coolant used to cut these geodes, it was kerosene. Oh my goodness, that <laughs> does not smell very good. We cleaned it with some dish soap, and you don't want to clean too much of the inside there because you don't want those crystals to, yeah. to knock off and fly away. But he got the outside the best he could, but the inside's still a little bit strong. This smell will dissipate over time. All you got to do is just set it in the sunlight. Okay, so we've got a lot of colorless quartz there, mm -hmm. a lot of iron staining. A so lot of iron staining. That, that orangish color is iron saying is actually on the exterior. Mm. Let's talk about what is a geode? What defines a geode? Essentially, like siliceous fluids, so silica-rich fluids, get trapped in these different pockets in the ground and over time they crystallize and you never know what's inside. Our whole lives and thousands of years, even more, these things have been enclosed and we got to open them and see what's really in here. We're the first people ever. Yes. And I, I just love that. I can't, I can barely grasp the concept. Yeah. <laughs> that is so cool. On this channel before, we've opened up some geodes. A lot of them have been, you know, this like softball kind of size. These are pretty large. Yeah, these are really large. The, the Kia Cook geodes are they're known worldwide for being very impressively large sizes. 
Let's take a look at this one here. I'll let you hold this one. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow, it's so smooth. And like, y'all didn't polish this at all, did you? There was no polishing done. This right here was actually the very end of the cut right here. And this usually oh. happens because the, the geode kind of cracks under the pressure. It's only being held by this bit of material right here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. The other thing to notice is sometimes you open up geodes and it's not vacant in the inside. It's just packed. And you don't get that, like, that depth, like that cave. The Cave Absolutely. of Wonders <laughs> kind of effect. But these extend pretty close to the edge of the geode. We've got to see two slices. Do you want to see the big one? Of course I do. All right, pull the curtain. Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, oh wow. That's a big one. That wow. is a big one. So this one gave us a little bit of an issue <laughs> at first. Oh my gosh. You may notice that the geode is not perfectly cut in half. I, I did notice that. And that is because the apparatus that is used to cut the geodes in the saw it's kind of like um, a vise, and it needs to be pushed between two planks of wood. And then on the left side of that, those planks of wood is the saw blade. So we had to get it sturdy enough to where it wouldn't break halfway through during the cutting process. So that equaled a kind of cut at the one third portion but I still think it's a beautiful result. It's awesome. There's something that's really cool, for, especially from a display perspective, because like you could legitimately display it as if it had just opened like mm -hmm. that. It just creates more depth looking into the it, larger piece. It looks piece. like it's a little, so cool. it's like a crystal cave in it there. It is, I can't it's like a crystal cave. That. Sometimes you'll hear the word like snowball referred to as it relates to geodes just because as you can see, there are like these clusters yeah. or like pockets of kind of orbicular shapes. One reason why people like geodes so much is because they're great for display pieces. You'll see them in a lot of home decor, offices. A lot of these are kind of this like neutral color, but they provide a really nice aesthetic when you're trying to decorate. Now with this geode, we have a little bit of a, a mineral buildup here. Yeah. So like this one has a lot of variety to it. We had these analyzed in the lab and the white spots are actually calcite. And they also contain strontium, which is sometimes found in geodes from this location. So you can get all sorts of shapes and colors and, and materials. It does tell a story of what maybe was happening <laughs> while it was forming. Another really cool part about this is you guys could have the opportunity to own one of these geos. So we're actually gonna put them up for sale on our website. So check out the links in our description and head there because we have sold geodes before and they sell super quickly. So make sure to go there if you wanna buy one of these. I understand that that's not all. Absolutely, yes. So right here we have three giant geos. Well, we actually purchased four. And some time ago we tried to saw through one with our own means and we weren't that successful so we've got a good starting cut and I'm actually going to take a chisel with Brittany and we're going to split it ourselves. <laughs> I cannot wait to see that. <laughs> okay guys so you've seen what a saw can do to our Kia Cook geodes but today we're going to see what our muscles can do to a Kia Cook geode. That's right we're going to be smashing this thing open with some chisels and some hammers. As you can see right here, we've got a seam going through it, about 30% through the entire stone. That's from a little while ago. We tried to saw this thing in half, but we just were not successful. So we're gonna finish the job. We're gonna put a sandbag under this to keep it a little more stable. So basically our plan as of right now, we've got this hatchet and we're going to set it in this seam right here. Hopefully we can extend the seam when we add enough pressure. And by pressure, I mean, Sledgehammer. Hold it as far away as possible. I think this goes without saying, don't try this at home. Let's try that again. Missing. I just feel like I need a lot of pressure to get this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. 
That was a lot easier than I that thought. That was, was so be. easy. <laughs> also a lot more frightened than I, than I uh, could have been. I guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> wow, okay, so we got a lot of beautiful quartz here. We got some iron staining in here. Oh, yep, absolutely. A beautiful cavity. Honestly, there's a lot of good clusters of the quartz that are A lot of here. good clusters. You can see right here where we attempted to saw this for mm -hmm. the first time. It's nice and semi-polished right here, and then we've got uneven fracture on this side, which is a nice, I think that's a nice variety. I am so impressed. So we've opened a lot of geodes today, but let's take a closer look at all of them. If you want to see more cool geode openings, let us know down in the comments. If you'd like to see even more gem content, make sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.